Okay. So we all know that ponies can be expensive and difficult to find, but what some of us don't know is that they're even more difficult sometimes to store. Sometimes you get ponies that get tangled hair or paint chips on them or dirt or whatever. And often this is attributed to how you store and how you maintain your MLP collection. Sometimes it's not as easy as putting them in a box or putting them on a shelf. So today I'm going to be showing you five easy ways to maintain your MLP collection in good condition. Storage. Because they have hair, if you put them all in a box, they tend to tangle a lot. So I think it's best to store them um, on shelves. I used to put mine, um, I had a shelf on my desk where I used to eat mine, and now I keep them in a closet. And you can do that as well, you can just keep them in your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be a big thing on display for everybody to see. You could even keep them in a drawer if you wanted to. For accessories, you can put them in boxes because accessories aren't as delicate. I have them in these little drawers, but you can also keep them in ice cube trays or Tupperware containers and lunch boxes. This one has Rainbow Dash's face on it. Hair. It's a good idea to style your hair if possible because it keeps it from getting tangled. If you just leave it in the mess it is when it comes out of the package, it will tend to get worse. However, if you don't have time to style it or if you for some reason can't or don't want to, I would recommend just doing it up Applejack style. So tying an elastic band around sort of like the halfway point and then pulling it right to the end. Um, not all the way to the end so it falls off, but just enough to the end so that there's only a little tuft of hair poking out so it can't tangle. Elastic bands. So a really common way that people style their pony hair is to use little elastic bands, like things for, you know, rainbow looms and stuff. And it's a really useful thing and I use it as well, but I would recommend to replace them um, regularly if you can because they're being pulled very tightly and they will become sort of crusty and discolored if you leave them. But I think it's good to do a full replace every couple months or so. If you notice many of your elastics have broken that's usually a good time to do it. Just sit down with like an episode of Blackadder or something and then just place all of them like one after another. Organization. Now you can organize them by uh, like character so you can do you know all the main six whatever or you could do it by race so a ponies, pegasi, and unicorns, but I think the best way to organize your ponies is by color, and I'm realizing that this is sounding a little racist, but you know, context. I have mine going from ivory to about sort of pink and then purple, and all the way down until dark brown. Dust. Dust accumulates really easily and really quickly, and you don't want to be filling with dusty ponies. So I think it's important to give your ponies and shelves a good wipe down like every couple of months or so. If you want, you can do this at the same time as you do your elastics and that way it's like a one big thing, like a, like a spring cleaning, like every month or two. So just take them all down, give them a, a wipe down, and then spray some stuff on your shelves and just wipe it down with a cloth. And there you go, good to see. And lastly, have fun! Ha 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 ha. But seriously though, pony collecting is, is about having fun and I think people can take it really seriously sometimes, like to the point where it's not fun anymore. Make sure it's fun, because that's the point. Aww. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helped you out. See ya!